This is a video about the Godox TT685 flash. Now I have the Sony version. Uh, they also make uh, the Canon version, which is the TT685C, and the Nikon version, the 685N. I'm gonna tell you what I think about this flash, but first let's get to the unboxing. The TT685 comes in a box like most flashes do. It's got a little case and the manual. Always a good idea to read these. Here's the flash itself. and the little flash foot that comes with most of these. I, I never use these. Take off the protective film and make sure to remove this contact protector from the foot. If you don't, the flash won't work. I can't even get it to fit on a cold shoe with this thing on. Here's the X1T unit. No little case for this guy, but definitely a manual. The X1T is solidly built, has a pass-through basic hot shoe on the top, power switch, and a focus assist beam switch that I can't use with the A7 III. It's got an easy to use LCD panel and controls. Uh, make sure that you take off the plastic piece off of the foot on this guy too. Here's your battery compartment. It takes two double A's. Now I also purchased the X1TS wireless transmitter for this flash. So both of these are compatible with Sony's TTL. Uh, I don't use TTL much uh, when I use uh, flash, especially off-camera flash, but it's good to know that it's there uh, when I need it. Basically, I just wanted a transmitter that would work with the uh, Godox flash, and uh, this is, you know, comes at a very affordable price. All right, maybe you're thinking, Ed, you probably have your fair share of flashes. Uh, what did you need to go and pick up one of these guys for? And you, my friend, are absolutely right. I have my fair share of flashes uh, like this one. Uh, I absolutely fell in love with this guy about four years ago, so much so that I ended up buying four of them. This is the young Newell 560 Mark IV version 4, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, it's a really good basic manual flash. I also bought the compatible radio trigger for this one. Good basic flash, uh, very affordable. Both of these things, I think this one cost uh, under a hundred bucks and this one was like a set of two or, of, or right around 30 bucks. As a matter of fact, Peter McKinnon just called this flash a must have, uh, but I can't blame him for uh, my purchase of this flash or the other three that I bought along with it. Because like I said, I did that about four years ago. Does it work? Absolutely, it does just what it's supposed to do. Well, this one does. The Out of the four that I purchased, this is the only one that still works. This one with the big X on it uh, no longer works. It got stuck on full power, and uh, no matter what uh, power setting I put it to, always full power, rendered it pretty much useless. Same thing with this one, another big X on it, because uh, it's useless. I, I can't use it anymore. All right, so that's one, two, three. What happened to the fourth one, Ed? Well, uh, the day that that one went out, I lost my patience and uh, let's just say that that one's no longer with us. Now, I'm not the only one who's had this problem. Uh, this problem has been reported for years. Uh, there are countless videos and instructionals out there that can show you how to open this guy up and replace the capacitor. You've got to buy some capacitors to do that. You do some soldering and, you know, a little uh, electronic wizardry that some people know how to do. Look, if I buy a flash, I expect it to work. I'm not going to get into all that other stuff. So with this one being the only remaining uh, Young Nuo that I have that actually works, uh, and I've, I've pretty much lost confidence in it, uh, I, I don't know when it's going to go out of me and it's going to get stuck on full power or just not work at all anymore. It was the only flash I had left, and I use flash a lot. I, I decided it was time to uh, try something else, and, uh, and that's when I started looking into the Godox, because a lot of people were talking about it. Just so happens that I'd recently picked up a couple of Godox uh, lights for video. I was very happy with them. I was su surprised at, at the quality, and I decided, yeah, maybe Godox is the way to go, and uh, so that's why I decided to pick up one of these. The TT685S is compatible with my Sony a7 III. Uh, TTL compatible too. It's not just a manual flash like the uh, Young Nuo. By the way, from what I understand, these flash units might be branded under different names. Uh, this one's Godox. You might be able to find the identical product uh, branded as Flashpoint. Let's look at the construction here. Now, the unit itself is very solid and well made. The head swivels and rotates 180 degrees in both directions. Whereas the Young Nuo, uh, 
goes 180 degrees to the left and 90 degrees to the right. Now the foot is mostly plastic, whereas the Young Nuo's foot is metal, at least on these units. The buttons feel good and it has the typical uh, wide angle flash lens here and the catch light card. Sensor focus assist and ready indicator. Little socket here for external power. Here we have a wireless control port for what I believe is a legacy uh, radio transmitter. A mini jack sink and a USB socket for uh, you know, you want to do updates to this flash, you can do that through your computer. Just download a piece of software and then uh, just update your flash. Apparently, updating the Young Nuo flash is a little bit of a headache compared to uh, something uh, like this with a USB. Now, I don't know uh, that you would ever actually need to update that Young Nuo, but uh, uh, the firmware is updatable on these Godoxes. Here's the battery compartment. Now, it took me a little while to figure out uh, which direction to put the batteries in. Really, it's hard to see here. I think the first one is positive, and then negative, positive, negative. It's working. Now this can be used as an on-camera flash or as a master controller for other flash units. Or it can be used as a remote off-camera flash, which is mostly the way that I use flash units like this. With the X1TS attached to the camera, I can control the flash in manual or TTL mode. What's cool is this transmitter allows you to control multiple flash units in three different groups. So how do I like this flash? I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I've done some tests with it here at home and I used it exclusively on our last photo shoot. You can see the results of uh, using this flash in uh, the link that I'm gonna provide here and in the description below. So between these two flashes, this, this one's got an X on here for a reason. Between these two flashes, uh, I'm gonna have to give it up to uh, this one. It's, it's, it's better. Obviously, this is a no-go if you want to, to use TTL with your camera, but I mean, even if you d just shoot in manual like I do most of the time, uh, still, this is, this is the way to go. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna have to end up with one of these big Xs or, or toss it like, like I did one of these. Out of just pure frustration that it didn't work anymore. By the way, I might do a how-to uh, on this flash, you know, walk through all the settings for you. Let me know if you're interested in that. Otherwise, uh, give me a like if you like this video, uh, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think if you purchased one of these and if you've had a problem with, I'd, I'd like to know if you've had a problem with uh, this flash. Uh, any of the, uh, the 685 versions, uh, just let me know in the comments below. I'm open to it. I'm not tied to anything. I mean, it's, uh, you, this guy failed me and I thought it was a great flash, but uh, you know, this one, I've got high hopes. I'm not gonna buy three more, uh, you know, like I did with the other one. I'm gonna test it out for a little while so as not to have any uh, surprises. But so far, so good, recommended. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.